Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this really special commission showcase. We have an absolutely awesome set of miniatures for you to check out. We have the Great Wolf and Wolf King, the Master of Fenris himself, Lee Man Russ, and also his Wolfkin. Um, for you older viewers, you'll know them as Freki and Gary. Uh, two awesome, awesome, massive wolves uh, that clearly are not from Fenris, as there are no wolves on Fenris, apparently. Um, but a really great set of miniatures, which Matt, one of the artists here at Siege, has completed them to our platinum level. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look at them in their awesome, awesome Space Wolf Fenrisian glory. We're going to start with the main man himself, because um, just honestly, this piece is incredible. Um, a really, really beautiful rendition of Lee Man Russ uh, in that really phenomenal charging pose that you can see here. Now, um, the base is all in separate pieces. Obviously, this character display base, uh, just so you can see every little bit of detail. Matt's done an incredible job on this black kind of obsidian marble um, from Prospero. You can see there on the base, all with non-metallic metal blended sort of uh, edge pieces and little symbols and things. You can see that lovely non-metallic metal there just on the base. Um, all the shoulder guard trims, every bit of gold and silver on the model is fully done in non-metallic metal. We have this absolutely beautiful shield here on the back. Um, I love that little hatchet there just on the back of his cl uh, cloak as well, which is just awesome. Got his huge axe there, as you can see, all fully blended uh, in non-metallic metal also, uh, but really sharply painted. There's literally been tens of hours lavished on this miniature alone, uh, and all the different pieces have just had full sort of uh, work on them, up pushing them to our sort of competition level here, as you can see. Uh, this really, really phenomenal pose just in itself, just charging forward. Uh, you can see just all the facial details, all the eyes and everything. It's got a nice subtle kind of bluish glow on the eyes as per our client's request as well, which is quite cool. Uh, and you've got that kind of frosty blue kind of tones just on some of the areas of the armor. I really do love the dark gray armor color, uh, just nodding back to that. Sort of older sort of colorway of the space wolves um, again if we just move around here you can see all the little areas of detail on the miniature are just done to a super high standard the armor is fully blended as well with nice refraction points where just light is uh is sort of uh sort of bouncing off the armor in certain areas um which is really cool but every little bit done to a super super high standard i love this little scroll here just on the base with all this text on it as well it's quite cool um and again extra little bits of detail like for example there's a, a thousand suns helmet there bolt pistol as well with a nice kind of deep red casing done on it as well which is quite cool i love this marble the marble obelisks and, and sort of uh, floor work that's just uh, on this base and you can see all the uh, non-metallic metal done on these little intricate little details like the scarab there just on that base or on that pillar or obelisk um but really really beautifully done um, and this is obviously the Great Wolf himself, uh, always been a fan of this Primark model and sculpt. I think it's probably one of my favourites, uh, bar obviously Sanguinius, uh, but just an absolutely awesome, awesome miniature. And just so you can see, it does all come to pieces. It is, uh, it is obviously done so that it can be, uh, it can be uh, taken apart for display or for gaming. But uh, I've just put it on the. Um, Put it on the uh, sort of full character base there for you guys to see it in this showcase, but just really, really well done. I love the sword as well. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, so that's this incredible Lee Man Russ, which we have had the pleasure of working on for our client. And uh, Matt's done an incredible job on him. Uh, to flank him, we have the Wolfkin of Russ, uh, two giant wolves um, doing what they do best and mauling uh, well, thousand suns up close and personal. We're going to start with this one here on the left, uh, and you can see just I love the way that Matt's done the different sort of tonal patterns on the fur, just to show where lights catching on different volumes of the actual um, muscular structure of the wolf as well, and different just just different hues of fur on there as well, which is great. All the scar on the face is all picked out with a nice deep crimsony ruby red as well, which is quite nice. You got these lovely purple tones just on the tongue and mouth and inside the maw. Um, all the teeth obviously all fully painted. Uh, the, every single little bit of hair all fully individually painted just hours spent on this just to get it to a super super high standard um, got the awesome base as well got like a bit of a contemptor here on the base as well this really saturated punchy red which I just think looks beautiful um, I love the white and red striations just there on the um 
on the head crest on that uh, contemptor as well, and you can see that non-metallic metal there just on the on the sort of Aquila with the scarab on the chest of the sarcophagus. Uh, we've got this unfortunate, dare we say, Thousand Sun that's just about to have his face ripped off by the wolf, and you can see all the non-metallic metal done on the trim, on the scarab, and uh, that really super vibrant red uh, that's been done on there. Absolutely love the uh, the streaking on the armor as well, which is quite cool. Uh, maybe a joint or seal has gone or something, which is just awesome. You've got another face plate down here on the floor with, again, full non-metallic metal done on the face plate as well. Uh, but overall, a really, really phenomenal uh, wolf. I'm not too sure whether this one's Frecky or Gary, but um, I'll let you decide in the comments and you can name which one you want. And then we have the second one here again that's just uh, about to uh, finish off uh, A Thousand Sun. Uh, he's just reaching up to try and fight it off, but to no avail. Uh, again, really nice little thing with all these little totems and gems all done just on the uh, on the back of the, the wolf and also the, uh, the these teeth just sort of like on with a rope here as well, which is just sort of in between the fur layers. I love the tonal variation of the fur from this deep sort of this really rich kind of creamy color up to this dark browny black on the top, which I think is great. And if you look from above, you can see that lovely tonal variation on the fur. Uh, looks really, really natural and uh, just a really, really cool miniature. Again, you can see obviously all the non-metallic metal done on the trim of the uh, shoulder of the pauldron or the uh, shoulder pad on the face plate. Uh, bits of uh, his armor all over the place here, as you can see. Um, and uh, yeah, all the little uh, totems and gems just done on the backpack, um, on the back on, on his back, not backpack, I'm looking at that backpack. <laughs> uh, and then we've got some scars here just on the on the leg as well that were really nice sort of pinky kind of tone to them just to show that they're quite fresh as well uh, or recent but even the little intricate details on the base done also with non-metallic metal that little wing there just on that bit of uh, marble that's just on the base um, but again just no expense has been spared on this just hours and hours and hours on all of these miniatures to get them to these super high competition level quality uh, so I do hope that you like them ever so much um, a beautiful set of models um, and for you Space Wolf fans I hope you've enjoyed this awesome showcase uh, of the, your Primark and probably I would say my second favourite Primark out of all of them so thank you very much for watching the video guys I do hope that you like it ever so much and uh, I'll see you on the next one take care bye bye So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.